initiates cheesy walk-in intro. I know a lot of people love that. Roll it. Hello guys, how are you? My name is David Franco and welcome to another Geek Update. Now last week's Geek Update was completely focused on E3 2019. So truthfully, it didn't feel like a real Geek Update. It just felt like an excuse to call it Geek Update, but honestly, that's what these videos really are. Just me talking about stuff I'm passionate about. And for those who are enjoying the series, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I really do. So we have a lot to talk about today. I'm gonna try to keep it short because it's already 118. Gotta eat lunch and hop on the Twitch, davidstwitch.com. And speaking of Twitch, let's just jump right into it because that's what the first topic is all about. My streaming PC components. Now, I've had a few people say, David, why do you need a streaming PC? You just built this kick-ass gaming PC. So I'm gonna say this politely. I think a lot of people believe a streaming PC is a gaming PC. It's not. A streaming PC is just that. It's a streaming PC. A gaming PC is just that, a gaming PC. I'm not gonna go into detail in this video, but if you request it right below, let me know if you're interested. And then I'll make a detailed video about that. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube, just, just Google it. But the controversy aside, uh, for those who do understand the purpose of a streaming PC, these are the components I plan on using. I've already purchased a few of them and I'll let you know which ones I already have. And of course I'll let you know the components I don't have already. And please keep in mind, not all of these components are final. And you also have to keep in mind, uh, this is an overkill streaming PC. I'm going overkill for two reasons. Number one, future proofing. You never know if I'll be streaming in 4K one day or whatever, and obviously to stream in 4K, you're gonna need a capable system to handle all the processing and all that stuff. And number two, actually three reasons. Number two, the streaming PC, in a way, is a backup gaming PC. So God forbid if something ever happens to my gaming PC, I can say, hey, all right, whatever, I can install my favorite games temporarily on the shimmy PC like Siege, Overwatch, Black Ops 4 and all that stuff and still stream consistently because Twitch is technically part of my job and I don't want something like, you know, a system failure stopping me from doing what I love. So yeah, in a way, it is a backup gaming PC. And finally, reason number three, because I can. Why not? Because I can. So these are the components I'm using. My case, which I already have, it's upstairs, I am using the NZXT H700 mid tower case. All right, so you might be wondering, well, David, why didn't you go with the smart version? I mean, are, are you not interested in a case that handles itself in terms of cooling and airflow and all that stuff? Yeah, at first I was interested, but then I was looking up reviews and apparently um, NZXT's cam software, it sucks. And yes, I have cam software on my current gaming PC. It's okay, I don't really use it all that much. I kind of just let it do its thing. But to have a smart case doing the work for me, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not crazy about that. I mean, in my opinion, that takes away the fun of putting your own fans in, putting your own controllers and lights and all that stuff in. And plus the lights didn't really look that great in my opinion. NZXT could have done a much better job. So anyway, the NZXT H700 is a beautiful case and um, I'm looking forward to actually putting components in it very soon, very soon. Intel Core i7-8700 CPU. Yes, I went way, way overkill on the processor, but again, why not, why not? So currently I have the 8700K in my gaming PC and the streaming PC will soon have the 8700. Very, very similar processors, but the gaming PC processor is just a tad more powerful. But even then, I'm gonna say it again, the i7, 8700 and the streaming PC, way overkill, way, way overkill. Speaking of overkill, MSI Z370 will be my motherboard. Now this I did not buy specifically for the streaming PC. I actually bought this for my gaming PC because if you recall, my gaming PC quite literally died within a few days of building it. It's nothing I did wrong. It's nothing I did wrong. But out of panic, I ordered a replacement motherboard because I thought it was gonna be the motherboard and for any PC enthusiasts out there, I think we can agree, the motherboard is probably the last thing you want to go wrong because you literally have to strip out your entire PC, put it all together again, and that's just a giant, giant pain in the ass. But thankfully, 
it ended up being my power supply units, which is easy. Order a new one, boom, connect, and I was good to go. And I have not had any problems since, which is great. So I figured, okay, you know what? I might as well keep this motherboard. You never know if I'll use it one day. And well, would you look at that? <laughs> I guess like a year and a half later, I'm finally using it because thankfully, my Twitch channel has been taking off and I'm gaining followers pretty much every day. So thank you so much for your support. So yes, that will be my uh, motherboard. And speaking of MSI, because I want the motherboard and the GPU to match, this is actually coming today as of this recording. Uh, the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 GPU. Yes, that's coming today. Just like pretty much everything, it's overkill. And yeah, you don't technically need a GPU for a streaming PC, but I like to have one. I like to have one. It's my PC, I'm gonna build it the way I want. And well, I'm just gonna say it again, if I ever have to play games on my streaming PC, this GPU can handle most games just fine. Uh, RAM. The same exact RAM I have in my gaming PC, G-Skill Trident Z 16 gigabytes. Now, my gaming PC does have 32 gigs of RAM, which is overkill, but I wanted all four DIMM slots filled. Um, but for now, I'm just going with 16 gigs, and you guys know me, I'm a very, very visual person, despite my just terrible, terrible looking hair today, but whatever, that's besides the point. But yeah, our chances are pretty damn good that I will be filling all four DIMM slots on my streaming PC as well. All right, so for storage, primary storage, I'm going with a Samsung 860 Evo 500 gigabytes SSD, 500 gigs, plenty of space, and again, it's plenty of space just in case I want to install some games. Seagate Barracuda, so this is my mass storage. Seagate Barracuda 8 terabyte hard drive. I've had this drive in my gaming PC for about a month. I've been loving it. I have virtually infinite space now to install as many games as I want. I mean, come on, let's face it, I'm not gonna fill eight terabytes for a long time to come. And for my streaming PC, something my gaming PC currently does not do, my streaming PC will be used to record every single stream I put out. Yes, you heard me right, every single stream. So this is a huge deal in itself. This is one of the primary reasons why I think it's worth getting a streaming PC in addition to your gaming PC. Because I'm not your average gamer, I'm not your average consumer. I'm a content creator, I'm all about the content. So uh, yeah, the fact that I'll be quite literally recording every single stream that I put out, that's a huge deal, guys. I mean, that gives me so much content to work with. And of course, this means more videos for you guys. So stay tuned for montages and clips and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm starting out with an eight terabyte hard drive. Chances are really good I'll be ordering another eight terabyte hard drive in the near future thus giving me 16 terabytes of storage to work with. I'm telling you, I'm going all in. And plus my case supports two hard drives, so why not fill both slots? All right, in terms of fans, I'm going with the Corsair LL120 RGB fans. I currently have two of them. Yeah, two of them installed on my gaming PC. The NZXT case, my, my uh, streaming PC, I mean, I'll probably do four. One in the rear, three in the front, and I'll put my AIO cooler up top. So in other words, it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna be bright as hell. It's just gonna look really, really nice. And finally, last but not least, my power supply unit, which is perhaps the most boring thing to talk about because it's a power supply. But I will say, I recently discovered this brand, Seasonic. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I've never used anything from Seasonic before, but according to Newegg, I mean, there are thousands of positive reviews in relation to Seasonic power supply units. So I think I'm going with the Seasonic Focus Plus Series 700 and 50 watts. Now, I did a quick wattage calculator on Newegg. Roughly speaking, my streaming PC will use about 560 watts. And of course, I say that very roughly. I mean, it could easily go above 600. Um, so I figured 750, plenty of safe space to work with. So, there you have it. That is my streaming PC and all the components I should be using. I don't think I'm gonna change my mind on anything. Hopefully I didn't miss any components. I don't think I did, but yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts right below. Please, no hate. No hate. I don't need people telling me how to spend my money because I know this is gonna initiate some kind of debate in the comments. That's what PC enthusiasts like to do. I don't know why. I don't know why. You spend your money the way you want to spend yours and I'll spend my money the way I want to spend mine. By the way, I'm not trying to sound like a dick when I say that. It's just how this world works. Okay, so the next topic, I'm gonna go over this really quickly. The Frankie Media. I relaunched thefrankymedia.com a couple months ago 
and the website has come a very, very long way. So just last week, I rolled out a brand new homepage, or at least two weeks ago, which I feel better represents the overall focus of the website. So defragmedia.com was built with you in mind. I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you to take action. That's what it's all about. Inspiration, motivation, and taking action. I'm always getting people asking, David, how do you do this? How do you do that? Where, where, do, you, where do you find your motivation from? How do you make your first YouTube video? What equipment do you use? That's what Defranky Media is all about. Like, honestly, guys, Defranky Media was created with you in mind and based on my 13 plus years of experience as a content creator. And I recently redid the homepage, which makes it, in my opinion, maybe I'm a bit biased, the most beautiful website I've ever made. The brand new thumbnails, I completely redesigned every single thumbnail for all the posts on the site, so now you can get a quick preview of the um, actual article without actually having to click on the article, which I think is great. There is now a creative services tab, so if you wanna use my graphic design services, web design services, you know, so in other words, like if you don't wanna do the work yourself, I can do it for a minimal fee, let me know, let's talk. But still, even with that said, I don't encourage the creative services, I encourage you to take action and there is so much knowledge, so much useful information throughout the website, thefrankymedia.com. So please check that out right below. And also one big focus you might notice is the inclusion and promotion, I guess that's a good word, promotion of Host Papa and Elementor. Now it's no secret, I'm a Host Papa affiliate. I am very, very happy with them. They treat me very well. And I'm also an avid user of Elementor. I mean, I've been using Elementor for less than a year now, but I can, quite honestly say, it is the best WYSIWYG editor I've used in my life. Oh, and also I should clarify, uh, WYSIWYG means what you see is what you get. You guys just need to check it out. Elementor is free to use. I pay for Elementor Pro. Well, because it's part of my job, so I need the pro features. But I highly encourage you to check out Elementor. And if you do want a website, check out my host papa affiliate link right below. You can quite literally save over $100 by signing up for 36 months ahead of time. Now, 36 months, you might say, well, David, that's a long time. Yes, it is. But if you're serious about your work, 36 months is perfect. I mean, that pretty much means you're serious about this, you're in it for the long haul, and you are going to get some serious work done. And that's the kind of people I want to focus on with the Frankie Media. I don't want to focus on those who start a project and forget about it in a month. I want people who focus, put the time in, put the work in, and I want the people who are determined to succeed in this world. We only live once, so stop putting off those ideas and start putting them into motion, all right? Start a blog, start creating your music, start recording vlogs, or start writing a blog. Just start working. Stop saying it and start doing it. It sounds like I'm yelling at you. I swear I'm not, I love you, I love you, I do. I just like to encourage and motivate. Actually, I like to inspire and motivate you to take action. And that's what the Frankie Media is all about. So please, if you're serious about getting started with your own work, all the links you need are right below. Including a website starter kit, that's still a fairly new page. I mean, it makes it really easy for you to start a website. I have everything you need to get started. Well, hence the name, website starter kit. I promise you, it really is easy. And guys, if for whatever reason you still need help, you're always free to email me. Just click on the contact link on that very website and I usually do my best to get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. This is my job. This is my job, so I'm trying to help you in the process. Let me know, let's talk. And finally, last but not least, Discord. Discord is the kind of service, or platform rather, that I've always enjoyed using. Like I love using my friend, uh, Otter's Discord, just to talk amongst friends. But when it comes to my own Discord, which is a thing, I mean, I have over 200 members, thank you guys. I admit, I never really put the time and attention into it that it deserves. But as of last night, I was up till three o'clock in the morning, completely reimagining my Discord. Like everything just makes sense now. There are text channels for talking about video games, whatever you want, hence the title, just chatting, sharing your memes, you can share your food porn, why not? I mean, people like to look at pictures of food. I mean, come on, look at me, I go to McDonald's every Friday. So yeah, there's a pretty good chance this Friday I'm gonna post a picture of my burger or whatever, because that's just what this new Discord is all about, just you being yourself. And also, if you're a Twitch subscriber, you get your little special Twitch subscriber 
uh, category on the right side, which gives you a little bit of promotion, which is pretty cool. And I guess I should mention what really inspired me to completely reimagine my Discord is this. I'm very, very excited to announce that as of yesterday, I'm officially a Discord partner. Yes, I applied. I'm like, eh, why not? I'll apply. And Discord accepted me. They accepted me. Needless to say, I was very excited. I'm still very excited because this is kind of like a new start for me. I'm finally gonna put uh, Discord to use and I really, really hope you guys join me for the ride. I mean, like I said, we're currently at about 200 members. I'm looking to double that to 400 or maybe even to 500 by this time next week. So please join it right below. It's completely free. It's an amazing way to stay in touch with me and my updates. And it's an amazing way to stay in touch with others of similar interests. Oh, and yes, I do get a Discord hoodie, which I'm looking very forward to. I'm just waiting for them to restock. So guys, there you have it. A very successful geek update. Yep, I talked about my streaming PC, talked about the Frankie Media, which is very important to me. And I talked about my reimagined Discord. Guys, thank you so much. I wouldn't make these videos without your support. I mean that. You guys are the best. I hope you're enjoying your day. Don't forget, get out there. Create something awesome, kick ass in this world, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you want to continue to support my content, check out the links right below in the video description. There you can access over 200 exclusive blogs. You can shop on Amazon and support me directly. And finally, you can get a steep discount on web hosting via Host Papa. I'll see you next time.